hi guys very good afternoon to all of you welcome to the video number 542 and uh, in this video I'm going to show you uh, that uh, in case if you want to hide the sheet uh, using the VP programming Excel VP programming the how, then how you can do that so in this video this is more of a like a real example taken from the you know MIS uh, uh, environment and uh, we will be uh, keeping only one sheet active in the workbook and uh, rest all of the sheets uh, we are going to hide it so this is a very useful code in case if you are using uh, let's say you know 20 30 50 sheets and you want to hide every sheet right every time when you open the workbook let's say or maybe you want you can control it using the workbook as well so uh, before we go further please uh, uh, note note this uh, make a note of this uh, the you know the playlist sequence uh, if you are new to the channel then I want to tell you that uh, the channel has got uh, all these 500 uh, 500 plus videos uh, uh, majorly on the four categories Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA and the recent one is the outlook VBA and this is how you should actually go and watch all these uh, the playlist one by one okay if you want to learn any of the subject over here Okay, so let's come back now to the um, important, the original topic of this video. Now, I have created here five sheets, but uh, you can have as many sheets as you want. This is going to be applicable every, everywhere, right? And in fact, uh, the sheet name you can change, obviously. I'm not uh, writing any sheet name. Now, what we have to do is, uh, we have to write here a collection loop, guys. Okay, now what is a collection loop, basically? A uh, collection loop is it's basically the these are the inbuilt loops first of all these are the inbuilt loops and you really can't do much of the change in the uh, loop uh, these all loops uh, starts with the for each word okay and uh, this is how we write for each worksheet in worksheets and then next worksheet okay so your code actually goes inside that the program as you can see right now on your screen okay so what do you mean by that for each worksheet so basically uh, Microsoft said that the VBA, you know, that uh, if my user, you and me, if we have a requirement of uh, uh, looping through all the, you know, through, uh, uh, we want to go to every sheet and we want to do something. Maybe we want to delete them. Maybe we want to rename the sheets. Maybe we want to go to the sheets and select the charts and, uh, you know, modify them, delete them or let it be the pivots on every sheet or maybe you want to write something on every sheet you know it 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 can be anything right it can be anything guys i i, I really can't uh, imagine all the scenarios but the point is if you are going to work on every sheet then rather than going to sheet individually why don't we have a loop you know why don't we have a loop which can automatically take care of all these things so this is why guys collection loops are very important if you do not know the collection loops i would say that your knowledge your programming skills will not be really so good okay this is the fact and uh, i'm not this is not a new video i'm talking uh, we are going to talk uh, i mean we have already talked about these collection loops in one of the series called uh, excel vba collection loops you can go and have fun there okay go and check that playlist excel vba collection loops and if you do not have any idea you want to really start from the scratch then you can go and check that okay i have uploaded some very very basic videos there as well so anyways let's go and check the uh, write this code today so we want to hide the sheet so this is how i'm gonna hide the sheet now the idea is to keep the sheet one visible and rest all sheet we need to uh, make it you know the invisible and uh, why we are keeping one sheet visible because obviously you cannot hide all the sheets if you do that excel will throw the error excel will not allow you so at least one sheet has to be there okay so this is how we write so the first thing that the way we write this is for each worksheet in worksheet okay this is how we write so it's a singular object comes with the plural object worksheet is a class which has all these worksheet objects coming there okay but there is a um, one catch here you cannot use the worksheet directly you have to use a variable so you can declare here a variable called let's say my ws as worksheet give it this class called worksheet and you have to uh, replace this with the my ws this is how we write because you directly cannot use the vb classes that is a rule okay now this loop will take you to the every sheet one by one okay if you just go and write here my ws dot select 
Now you know that my underscore WS is not a VBA word, but look at this guys, isn't it amazing? You press dot and you get to see all the methods and the properties which comes with this worksheet. This dot is working for this my underscore WS. In fact, even if you go and write, let's say dim Ajay as worksheet and then you press Ajay dot, you will see this. What is the reason? Because you'd said that your variable my underscore WS is going to be treated as a worksheet class. Okay, so that's why the all the things which you can do with the worksheet using the dot operator in the VBA that is going to be transferred to the my underscore WS. Okay, so if I just go and write here select, okay, and just to show you, if I run this code, look at this. My first sheet is already selected. Now it goes to the second sheet. Now it goes to the third sheet. You can see here selection is changing. So this is so powerful. You don't have to go to every sheet individually. So you don't have to write sheet so one dot select sheet two dot select sheet three dot select you know because if you have hundred sheets I'm not mad right who's gonna write fifty times that code neither you so we can use this collection loop well anyways now uh, so uh, what is the uh, idea so we don't want to actually select it this is just for your information now we want to actually keep a sheet one visible okay so we will put here if condition and we will say that if the name of the sheet my so what is a sheet your sheet is remember it's your this my underscore ws object so we're gonna say that if this sheet name equals to or maybe i would say not equals to if it is not equals to sheet one now make sure that you write here the correct case because if in the v way are case sensitive okay so please write the correct syntax uh, the correct case okay so if it is not a sheet one then what are you supposed to do well, then you're supposed to actually you know hide that so you can write here that my that sheet the visibility has to be excel hidden or excel very hidden that's all up to you what you want to do if you write the hidden then anyone can right click on the sheet and can check that if you do this excel very uh, sheet very hidden this will be available only in the vba this is the difference between both these things okay for example if i write here hidden now this is a general hidden if somebody clicks here right click here and you know this unhide option using this unhide option they can see that right now there is no sheet hidden so that's why you see this unhighlighted but if you just uh, right click and uh, uh, if you have some sheet hidden then you click here and even can see that that's basically the excel sheet hidden but if you just make it let's say so let's use this uh, excel very hidden i'll show you what's gonna happen so this is the case and in, in in case if it is not a sheet one then we do not want to do anything this is how the code is going to look like okay now the thing is uh, you don't have to select the sheet to go there you can simply be on the sheet one and the things will work because your this loop will automatically your next this particular line this line will take you to the next sheet one by one without selecting that because this is a collection loop okay so let's go and put some indenting away over here because your code should look cleaner and maybe we can write here do nothing right so finally we have made this code and now we will go and run this code let's go and check that guys so what is the first sheet name let's go and check that you can hover here so this is a sheet one so sheet one is equals to sheet one your condition should fail and that that is what is happening right now we are going in the else mode and now we go for the next worksheet what is the next worksheet next worksheet is sheet 2 and you know that sheet 2 is not equal to, equals to sheet 1 so what should happen that particular sheet now should go in the very hidden mode let's go and check that and you keep your eyes over here okay look at this your sheet 2 is gone my friends it's gone i mean it's not deleted <laughs> it's hidden but it is not there okay now time for the next worksheet now what is the next worksheet now this loop is so intelligent so powerful you really don't have to worry about anything you can see that the next sheet is automatically captured which is your sheet 3 so is it equals to sheet 1 well obviously not right so if it is not equals to sheet 1 then again it go in the visible mode and it's going to make it hidden now look at this again same way guys you again have the sheet 4 which is not equals to sheet 1 so every time this loop runs, this is going to work in this way. And finally, your all the sheets are done. If all the sheets are done, collection loop says that my job is done, sir. 
okay and i'm going to get out of it now so you see that it is done now very interestingly if you go and right click here and if you want to unhide them do you see that you cannot hide them you cannot unhide them because this is <laughs> there's no option then where the heck the sheets are are they gone no now here comes the important part now when you go to the visual page say you see your uh, all sheets here they are there you can see here right now how to make them visible let's say you want to make them visible okay so what do you do in that case you go to the sheet two let's say you want to make the sheet two visible select the sheet two go to the view and click on the property window when you click on the property window this property sheet you know this property window will come for the sheet two make sure you correct uh, you select the correct sheet and then you go here now look at this here in this you know alphabetic tab visible it's very hidden you want to make it visible you want to make it hidden this hidden is same well i don't want to make this hidden because otherwise i would have done you know the same thing here what is the need of making this very hidden well anyways i want to see let's say for example i want to do some changes in the sheet i forgot to do it and then i will you know like to run the macro so you can make this visible so once you make this visible you see that it's coming back in your excel exciting isn't it right so that is how guys you can make that this very hidden you can change that to visible by selecting that particular sheet okay now so if i just go uh, go here and i keep on you know going to the property windows by pressing f4 or maybe by going to the view and i let's say i make all these sheets visible uh, so this is also let's say i want to make visible okay so i have made uh, sheet 2 sheet 4 sheet 5 i select the sheet 3 as well i press f4 and i let's make it visible i want to show you something else as well uh, now for example now all the sheets are available here okay now we, we are going to run this code again and you know the same thing will happen now let us say there are already some sheets which are which are hidden so i just go and hide it manually okay so i have hidden the sheet too right now i want to run this code so we need to see that if this code is going to work or not on the hidden sheets okay so let's go and run this what is a sheet one guys obviously it is a sheet one right this is the sheet one in case if you have a, a, a you know uh, some another name coming here not a problem you will see that name there right so it depends what you want to see so now we go in the else and if next worksheet what is the next worksheet let let us go and check the name of the sheet now this is what i wanted to tell you guys the name of the sheet is sheet 2 now if if you hover here and see the sheet name you should not be surprised that why the sheet 2 is coming here when i don't see it here okay that means it must be hidden many people you know uh, they lose the track there so that's why i'm telling you in the beginning so now when you run this you're gonna make this very hidden you see that it is working so the sheet which you which you had hidden now if you go and right click here that will not be there because you have made it very hidden okay so same with the code will work and this is how it is going to work okay so the thing is what i wanted to tell you if you already have some sheets hidden they're going to be also action when you run this loop so you will have this excel sheet very hidden okay now if you right click here you see that you don't see that sheet right i think it was sheet 2 which we had uh, actually you know hidden it but it's not coming there because this loop had made that very hidden it converted the property hidden to very hidden so you have to again go back here in the you know visual basic and you have to you know uh, click that and go to the property of this window and then you have to make it visible if you want to work or if you want to bring it back okay now just in case i know this question can come up in your mind that what if i want to make three or four sheet, uh, multiple sheets visible and rest i don't want to do that then it's very simple why don't you just go and you know put this entire thing in the and okay in the and or you can put the uh, not the and but or you just put here or and control v so write the sheet name there as sheet 2 okay so this means that if the sheet name is going to be sheet 1 or sheet 2 okay if it is not equals to i mean if your active sheet name is not sheet 1 or sheet 2 it is going to be hidden so if you have 20 sheets you use this 20 times put the or 20 times okay 
well uh, in case of 20 times you know what guys i will use the arrays but this is just for your extra information right so that is how you can uh, deal with these um, worksheets using the collection loop and don't forget to watch the excel vba collection loop if you want to start from the very beginning okay so thank you so much guys and have a fantastic year ahead i wish you a very very happy new year in advance thank you so much bye bye